Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Boys Hoop Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by Steve Fryer. How are you doing, sir? I'm well. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. All right. Steve, we're here at Troy High School in the heart of the Freeway League. And man, what a crazy league this is, Steve. I mean, last week we were at a pretty... Actually, it was a horrible game. Between Sonora and Troy, it ended up being not as close as we'd like because, what, Troy had a couple starters missing. Um, but this week... Troy is looking at some really special opponents. Uh, quite a game going on in this crazy freeway league. Yeah, the league is pretty cra crazy, uh, John. And crazy means fun, everybody, because what we have is we have a three-way tie coming into this week. Three teams at four and one, Sonora, Sunny Hills, and Troy. And here in this gym on Friday, it's Sunny Hills here at Troy. And one thing I like about the freeway league is the crowds are pretty cool. You know, it's, Sunny Hills is going to bring some kids. And so the Troy people, they have be ready to match them cheer for cheer. So it's going to be a lot of fun here on Friday. Okay. Uh, a surprising team in league here, Steve. Uh, I, in the top ten that I don't think anybody thought was going to make as much headway as they have this season, and that's Villa Park. Exactly so. You know, they're 7-0 and in league coming into, the, coming into this week. I think everybody kind of pegged uh, Foothill. If anybody's going to be 7-0 after seven games, it would probably be Foothill. But Foothill's had some injury issues. Real good sophomore Eric Patton just had a, a cast removed from a wrist. And Stephen Brown's had a broken wrist or hand uh, situation as well. Really good player, good post player for them. So they've been, you know, kind of just now getting healthy. Now Villa Park plays at Foothill on Friday, and that's going to be a fun game. Foothill's at 6-1 in the league. Villa Park's at 7-0. That's a really good league. Uh, Villa Park's got a couple really good players. Uh, Blake Selway, he's been, he's been fantastic for them. And, and a younger center sort of guy, Lamont Tyler, has been uh, outstanding for them as well. Finally, your weekly modern day update. They actually lost, and uh, that was, uh, what, yesterday on the road in Ohio, of all places? Yeah, and Monday on Martin Luther King Day. What happened was, you know, Elijah Brown uh, of the Monarchs, he spent his freshman year at St. Edward in Ohio. Uh, you know, when his dad got the uh, coaching job with the Lakers, the whole family moved out to here west. Uh, but they still sort of decided, hey, you know, let's take the Monarchs back out there to St. Edward and play. So McKnight said, yeah, sure, that's cool, Coach Harry McKnight. So they did that, went out there, got beat 58-44. to 44. Kind of an inter interesting little angle on this one too, right, John? Yeah, we do have an interesting angle. Uh, Stanley Johnson coming off the bench? Yeah, coming off the bench because he missed the team flight on Saturday, made it out there somehow. I don't know if Stanley hitchhiked it out there or what he did, Jonathan, but he made it out there, did not start, still wound up leading the team and scoring with 17 points. I think he had 11 rebounds as well. But, you know, yeah, he didn't start, and, uh, you know, the rules are rules, and so uh, they, they stuck with him. And, you know, I, I don't know if that's what, you know, everybody calls a trap game or what. You're kind of looking ahead to league games. They got a game against St. John Bosco coming up this week, I think. And so what happens is uh, something that you and I think have talked about in the past, Jonathan, is that modern day I've seen them do this. They keep, seem to keep it in third gear and sort of sleepwalk a little bit, which they can afford to do against a lot of teams. Yeah. But you go out there into a real small gym, what, 1,800 people in that place, standing room only. You know, it's a tough place to probably go play. You got jet lag, it's snowing, you know, you're stuck in your hotel room and all these other things. A lot of factors work against you, but it's still a 10 foot high rim. You know, the floor is still 80 whatever feet. And so you still got to work through all that. So these are the kind of games that when you're winning a lot, they can be the best potion you can take because you realize we got to lace it up tight and be ready to rock every gosh darn night because we're everybody's Super Bowl. We better be ready to play. We can't come out lackadaisical like, like I've seen modern day do and still pull out a win this time. I don't think it, they, I think it didn't happen. All right, that's Steve Fryer. I'm Jonathan Camus. Thank you for watching the OC Varsity Boys Hoop Show.